Hello girls, um, here's a little recap. We're going to talk about Le Futur Simple today, but just to begin with, let's do a recap of Le Futur Proche. We use the Le Futur Proche when we're making plans and we're talking about the future, and it corresponds with the English I'm going to verb, so it's imminent, I'm going to do this very soon. To form it, we conjugate ali and we add the infinitive, just like in English. So it means I'm going to verb. Here's some examples. Je vais apprendre le français. I'm going to learn French. So just like in English. Il va faire sa valise. He's going to pack his suitcase. Nous allons aller au cinéma. We are going to go to the movie. So note that we can, it works with aller as well. So for the futur proche, the near future, it works just like in English. But we're going to learn a new futur now. And this one is called le futur simple. And it's called le futur simple because it's it's just one word. It's not composed of two parts like the passé composé. It's just one word. We use it to express the future as well. And it corresponds with the English I will verb. So it's a little bit different to le futur proche. Le futur proche is I'm going to do imminently. I'm going to do it very soon. Whereas I will do is um, is sometime a little bit further off, further off in the future. So there's a slight difference in meaning. So, to form le futur simple, we add infinitive and we add future endings. And here they are. A, I, A, S, A, O, N, S, E, Z, O, N, T. And if you look at them, you might realise that they look a little bit like avoir. Certainly these ones are exactly the, the je, tu, il, elle, on and the il, elle form of avoir. So that's a good way to remember it. So all we do is we take the infinitive and we add these endings. That is for regular verbs, but you'll know, of course, that there are many irregular verbs in French, and for those ones, we just need to learn an irregular future stem. Let's have a look at the regular verbs first of all. For example, manger. So we take the infinitive, here's the infinitive all the way down, and we add the endings. So we have je mangerai, I will eat, tu mangeras, you will eat, il mangera, he will eat, nous mangerons, we will eat, vous mangerez, you will eat, ils mangeront, they will eat. Works just the same for an IR verb. Finir, for example, je finirai, tu finiras, il finira, nous finirons, vous finirez, ils finiront, and so on. But something to note with RE verbs, we need to take off the E before adding the endings. So we'll get something like je prendrai, nous vendrons, ils attendront. So for regular verbs, it's pretty straight ahead. All we need to do is take the infinitive, and add those endings which look very much like avoir. So of course we have lots of irregular verbs. Here are just a few. J'aurai, so, so you can see here the irregular future stem is A-U-R. So that would be our stem and to that we're going to add those endings. J'aurai, tu auras, il aura and so on. Être is je serai. Tu seras, il sera and so on. And so where does that S come from? Well have a little think about in present tense, je suis, nous sommes, ils sont. There's an S there, so it's not actually all that, all that unexpected. Aller is j'irai, so the stem is I-R. Devoir is je devrais. Faire is je ferai, F-E-R, so we've had a vowel change. Savoir, je saurai, S-A-U-R. Pleuvoir, il pleuvra. Vouloir, je voudrais. Falloir, il faudra. Venir, we have a vowel change here as well with the D. Viendre, so V-I-E-N-D-R, so that's quite a bit different. And then we also have a few here that get a double R. Envoyer, j'enverrai, with a double R. Courir, je courrai, with a double R. And pouvoir, je pourrai, with a double R. And voir, je verrai, with a double R. These just a little handful, you'll be given some more. So that is le futur simple. With a regular verb, we take the infinitive and add those avoir-like endings. Or with an irregular verb, we use the irregular future stem and add the endings. Voilà. C'est tout.